Hello, Reddit, and exiles everywhere, hopefully. Uh, just wanted to make a follow-up video to the one I posted the other day about crafting, deterministic crafting, and items. Uh, and I wanted to talk more about item weight and what that means and how to fix it, honestly. Because right now, item weight is in a really terrible spot. Uh, so first off, thank you to everyone that suggested audio fixes. Hopefully, some of them worked. Um, and I don't have that terrible static sound in the background. Uh, I feel like my mic is not as good, but honestly, if it gets rid of that sound, that's probably for the best. I know I need a better mic. If I keep doing this, I will definitely work on that. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about is items and how they feel at the moment. What has weight? How do we increase an item's weight? How do we decrease an item's weight? What items should have weight? And if you notice, uh, if you watched the previous video, you'll see I haven't really changed my gear at all. The only thing I did was I delinked this uh, chess piece. It was a five link. Um, and as a brief aside, I want to talk about defenses. So I had a five link cast one damage taken setup. Cast damage taken, purifying flame, warlord's mark, immortal call, and increased duration. And as a blood magic character, I found that well, it cost too much. I was taking more damage from the cast one damage taken setup than I was preventing, and that felt terrible. I invested a five link into defense, and it gave me a negative return. That should never happen. The more you invest into defense, the more you should get out of it. And if there's an option for investing into defense that gives you a negative return, that's terrible. That is awful. So please remove the mana cost or any cost from cast one damage taken. Right now, it is. I mean, that if you're investing into a defensive layer, it should work. Okay. Anyway, so what I want to really emphasize here is the gloves that I have on. So, these gloves, they're pretty good. I'm a strength stacking build, so therefore having 55 strength is really, really good. Having 75 life, also pretty good. 41% cold resist, very, very good for what I need. Uh, and the additional cold and cash resistance crafted is also exactly what I want. Armor, I mean, that's just a little bonus. Now, I found these gloves, and they... Well, I found them uh, almost exactly like this, um, with slightly worse mods, but generally the same. Uh, and I threw a few jagged fossils and uh, in a particular combo, as well as a few other things at it, and basically got it to exactly where I found it. Pretty much. Like, two or three stats difference in the strength, honestly. Just, yeah. Um, obviously, this is not an upgrade, even though it has one of the hunter specific stats that I really want. I want a pale chance that would help me out or let me move my points around on the tree but still getting to 100% in pale chance, so this would be fantastic. Alternatively, if I got strike skills target additional enemy, that would be fantastic. I'm playing Bone Shatter. Bone Shatter is a strike, and that stat is I mean, it, you need to have that stat somewhere in order to make strike skills work, let's be real. But I found this. Picked it up, I identified it, and I thought, okay, and then I realized that that was it. That was it. I couldn't upgrade any of the, these stats. These were the stats. And if I wanted a better piece of gear than the one I have, I would have to just roll over the entire item. So I did. I rolled over it. I, like I said, I threw some, threw some fossils at it. I threw essences. Eventually, I just got this basically the same thing that I had to start. How weighty is that item? Well, the answer is it's not. This item is not an upgrade. It's not going to sell for anything. Maybe if I crafted life on it, I can sell it for a little bit? Sure. But I don't want to sell it. I want an item that I can use. I want an item that I can have as an upgrade. But I would have to roll over this and just pray to RNGs over and over and over again. And I, I checked Craft of, or Craft of Exile before I even started this, and I saw what the costs would be with the various different methods. I'm talking hundreds of chaos. 800 was, I think, the bare minimum. I think uh, one of the methods could have been up to 14,000 if I really wanted good stats. 
It was about 2,000 if I was willing to settle for stuff that was not even as good as what I have, but just had the impale on it. You're noticing something about my stash? I don't have anywhere near that. I don't even know how I would make all that. Well, no, I know how I would make all that, but I don't want to play that way. I don't want to be focused entirely on just profit, trying to get all the currency that I can just to get this one item to be slightly better than the item that I'm wearing. Not even a lot better, just slightly better. That's insane. Quite frankly. It would take more currency than I have to make this item better. Sure, maybe that's okay. Maybe it's okay that I won't be able to get a much better item, but then where do I go from here? Well, this has an open prefix. I can slam it and pray. Probably get crap. I'm still probably going to do it, because what else what other choice do I have? Oh, you're right, I can buy the item. Well, let's, let's, uh, let's try that. Let's go to the trade site. And let's see if I can buy that item. So let's look for gloves. And let's look for strength. Gotta have strength. I have a strength second build. My item needs to have strength. Let's see. And let's say... Uh, let's not even go for 55 strength. Let's go for 50 strength. Okay? 50 strength. Uh, and I need cold resist for my build. But let's... You know what? Let's do of any one resist. Let's do... Uh... No, let's do cold, and we can swap it out there, so we can get it good. Uh, let's do 40, because I need the cold resist. I need it to be roughly that level. Actually, you know what? Let's drop down to 35. 35 cold resist. Tear down. Alright, let's try... Oh, well, I need life. Um, I want the open suffix, so we'll go to 60. Oops. Go to life, and we'll go 60, because like I said, one open suffix, so I can craft more cold and chaos resist if possible. And let's do impale chance. I can spell. Okay, there we go. And let's not go for the twenty percent. Let's just go for any impale chance. And online only. Let's try. Let's do any search. Huh. No results found. Huh? Okay. Um. All right. What if uh? Let's not not impale. Let's do uh strike skills. Strike skills target addition new right. Let's see. Uh, search. Oh, what? Four exalts? Okay, but it does, doesn't have an open suffix, though, so I can't re can't get the chaos resistance. And I guess I could try YOLO and all. It's pretty good. Oh, he listed it 11 days ago. Off offline. Oh. Well. It doesn't even have enough cold resist. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, let's 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 try something else. Let's um, let's let's get rid of the light. Let's just do fifty strength, cold resist, strike skills. Okay, let's see what we got. What we got? Hundred chaos. Oh, he's online. I could probably get this, but I I can't craft any life on it. Well, I mean, there's, I can maybe annul it, get lucky, or brick the entire item, and have wasted the hundred chaos. Another one? No, I, I can't. Like, like 120 chaos, I could maybe annul it. Maybe annul it twice and get life and resist on This just feels terrible. This feels awful. Absolutely awful. And let's let's say, okay, maybe, alright, let's not do, well, let's do fire resistance, okay? Because maybe I can maybe get the harvest craft to change it. Let's do, let's do four. No, let's do 35. 35. See what happens. 50 exalts? 50 exalts, huh? Huh. There's intimidate on it. I mean, that's really good. 50 exalts? I can't afford 50 exalts. That's trade for this kind of an item. For an item that, again, is not even that much of an upgrade for my build. It's a little better. It's... It, I think uh, the total was like... 100k DPS for my build. Just, I mean, it's solid, it's really, really good, but it's not... 
I'm not, I'm not blowing the numbers through the roof here. So let's let's go back into the game. Let's talk about this. What does that mean for this kind of an item? This is an item that ostensibly should be potentially an upgrade, if I can craft it properly. But instead, because of the insane cost and no guarantee of any kind of success, not even a little bit, it's worthless. It has no weight at all. But you know what has weight? These have weight. These have to have weight. These splinters. All these. These have weight. Wait. These things that sit in my stash and do nothing. They have weight. They need to be picked up individually as they drop. All of these. They have so much weight. They sit here and do nothing. Nothing. Until they're finished. I can trade them, or I can trade for more, but I don't want to. They're annoying. If I don't want to run breach stones, then these right here, they do nothing. They just sit here. If I've done my five-way, which I haven't yet, but if I've done it, what do I need these for? I'm not going to be farming Legion. I would love to, but I don't get enough on my own, and I would have to pay out the ass to get more splinters that I probably wouldn't make a profit off of. Why? Why do it? Why even... Why do these have to have weight? While this, this has no, no weight at all. There's no reason to keep this item. There's no, there was no reason to pick it up and identify it. So there's so insanely low chance that it would have had the mods I need. That's silly to me. That's absolutely silly. But, what if I took this item right here, thought, okay, well the strength is a bit low, I can upgrade it. Yeah, okay, I, I can upgrade this. Not to work. I can upgrade the strength. I'll farm a little bit, you know, or run a bunch of harvests, and then I can take that strength and I can improve it a tier. Right now it's, what, tier 6 again? Or, uh, no, tier 4? I can make it tier 3. Or I can make it tier 2 after that. It costs probably a lot, but I could do it. I could make the item better. I could turn it into an upgrade. Deterministically. Or, maybe I take a chance, and I roll that strength, try and get 55, really want to get that top tier one, so I roll it, I roll just the strength, I roll it, and it gets a weaker strength. Well, okay, so I try again, I roll it, and it gets a weaker strength, but I keep trying, and every time I try, there's a chance that I can get that tier one max roll one. There's a chance. Or, if I'm okay settling with a tier 2 mod, I can deterministically get my way there. I can take it from a tier 4, to a tier 3, to a tier 2. That would feel pretty good. That would feel really good. It really wouldn't be... You know, let me, let me rephrase that. The other big thing is that this is on Goliath Gauntlet space, right? That's that's pretty good, you know? That's, that's what I want. But let's talk about base items. And let's, uh... Well, let's just... Let's run a map. Why not? Uh, so... Let's draw a second. And this will be a demonstration for those that were wondering what does a tier 2 or a mid-tier player look like? Uh, recovery rate, max resistances... Yeah, I can probably run that just fine. Right, this is how I run my maps, right? I do this, I do just fragments, I don't have scarabs, I don't bother with scarabs, I don't want to trade for scarabs, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, so I just take those, uh, I don't have sextants, so alright, I guess I'll do that. This is a lot of fun, by the way. Uh, doing sextants, yada yada yada, I don't trade for them, again. Mysterious barrels. Sure. Not the best, but... Okay, good enough. For those of you who wanted to see gameplay of how exactly a mid-tier player plays, this is what I'm doing. I'm not thinking about profit, I'm not thinking about any of that stuff. Let's, let's do a little, a little mapping and we'll see what we're doing. 
because I'm not going very fast. I'm just playing at my own pace. Doing what I want to do. Then let's just kill a couple packs and find something. Just, just something that works. Alright, let's come over here. We'll see. We have a bunch of stuff that dropped over here. Most of it's crap. But, yeah, it's crap. Let's see. Uh, Ball Hatchet, Karu Scepter. Uh, let's find something. Crusader Blade. Yeah, sure. Crusader Blade. Alright, let's maybe find this uh, Crusader Blade. Or actually, we got a rare one. Cool. Oh, let's uh, identify it. See what we got. Armor, full resist, lightning resist. Okay, it's pretty much crap. Alright. What if we could upgrade? Upgrade this. Well, you know, Crusader Blade's probably a bad idea. Let's see. Ball Blade. Example. Played it all. That's. Yeah. Alright. That uh, experiment kind of. My point was let's say we found something that we could upgrade. Take a base that had something good on it. Just anything good. Like, uh, you know, let's say this had. Let's say this had 248% resistance. So I thought, okay, but the rest of it is shit. Let's say this was. I don't know, glorious plate or something. Or, so we want it to be, we wish it could have been an astral plate. Maybe in a crusader plate to astral plate is a bit of a stretch. But the point being, if we could upgrade the base type, because the base type, let's say it was crap. Right? Absolute crap. Let's say, I don't know, Peru Scepter. Let's say this was a weaker version of Scepter. You know? if, it's, if you want it for melee damage, you need good fizz damage and a good physical base. This is item level 84. You know, ideally, if you're making a Fizz weapon, which, obviously, if you're using a Karu Scepter, you're not, but let's say you were, you'd want 83 so you don't get the weapon elemental damage and such mods and cool, right? So, let's say, what if we can downgrade this to an 83? Okay, well, now we just have a, now we have a crafting base, right? We have a high-tier Fizz-based weapon with a, uh, with a correct item level. Now we have a crafting base. We didn't. Uh, we didn't before. What, are you noticing that, what that means? That shit item that didn't even show up in my loot filter could have become a proper base. We could craft them. And that means we could show less items. You can drop fewer items. You don't need so many items if every item has potential to be worked on. And it doesn't have to be, like, everything. Like, I mean, I'm not expecting to turn this into, you know, a sword or an axe or any other kind of thing. Like, we're not expecting you to take a random thing and turn it into a jeweled form. No. But upgrading the same class of item. Sure. The same, you know, artwork, essentially. Turn anything into a siege axe. Or any, you know, the same class of axe. That would make it a lot easier to get crafting bases. Especially if they're influenced, and the big thing there is being able to take a base that has a good mod on it, or multiple good mods on it, and upgrade that into the better version of the base without losing the mods. That's part of the point. The entire point is to be able to incrementally upgrade an item. Because when you take something that just dropped randomly, you take these boots, and you turn them into something that feels awesome. This random piece of crap that otherwise wouldn't even take a look at turned it into something. You hold on to that item for long enough, you keep putting currency into it, it becomes something. And you're not just randomly risk throwing it all away every two seconds by just rolling with a chaos orb. You can roll one mod at a time, you can replace mods, you can remove an ad, you can do all the things that Harvest lets you do. You can Take an item from crap and turn it into gold. It's not even, it's not polishing a turret, it's literally alchemy. <laughs> and that's all 
players really want is to be able to take these items from nothing and turn them into something. That's what makes Path of Exile's itemization so great, is that there are these terrible items, and there are these fantastic items, and theoretically, you can have stepping stones in between. At the moment, it's more like barriers in between. Getting through these barriers is fun. But need the tools to do so. And that's honestly all I really wanted to say. It's, it's the weight of an item is in how much you are invested into that item. A random crappy rare you're not invested to into currency, honestly, it's not really it doesn't really have that much weight. You're not really invested in currency. But yeah, you're not really invested in anything. If you are, there's not really. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on this. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, it's not really about just randomly fighting a person. Okay. Yeah. Randomly fighting items, and they're suddenly a great. Upgrade that just doesn't happen. It never happens. 99.9% .9 of the time, anything on the ground is trash. It has no weight. But if it could be an upgrade, if it's something that you could take from crap and turn it into gold, that's item weight. And when there are fewer of those, but you can take any of those items and turn them into anything, you solve the clutter problem. You only need to drop two or three items if those items can be taken and worked on and turned into something great. They don't have to be great what they drop. If they are, hey, you hit the jackpot. Well done. And that feels great, right? That's the opening a magic pack bit. Hey, you pulled a $30 rare. Congratulations, you did it. Problem is that 99% of the time, you're pulling bulk. <laughs> you're pulling chaff that nobody wants. How much weight does a common card have in that thing? Yeah, not much. I would love to have the ability to take that item right there and turn it into something that is significantly better than what I have. But what's slightly better. Right now it would cost way too much to even attempt to make it slightly better. That's the problem. That needs to be fixed. Alright, well I hope people enjoyed this. It was a bit more rambly than the first one. I had kind of... didn't really know exactly where I wanted to go with this one. I was just kind of feeling it out. So, I hope people enjoyed it. Um, if people want to see more, please let me know. I, like I said before, I have a lot of things that I would like to talk about. The biggest one is probably Party Play, so if people want to see the video on that, I would definitely do it. It's probably the issue that is most near and dear to my heart after items. Uh, and yeah, thank you again to everyone that suggested audio fixes, thank you for everyone that watched, hopefully shared the video, and uh, posted and bumped it on Reddit. I hope that GDG see that, or sees that video, because I think it's a lot better than this one, but hopefully this one will also help a little bit. Uh, thanks again, and I will see you again. <laughs>